Hi folks! Welcome back to the Alan Parks Project. My name's Alan Parks and today I'm going to polish my tuba. That's not a metaphor, I'm going to actually polish a tuba. I'm going to polish this tuba as a matter of fact. This is an old Busher E-flat tuba, obviously. Silver finished, tarnished like crazy. I can't remember the date of this. I I think it's from the 1910s, but I'm not sure. So what we got to do is we've got to disassemble this and we got to clean it up and take all of this tarnish off and give it a little polish and make it nice and shiny so that everybody can ooh and ah over it. Too bad it doesn't play very well. Oh well, it'll look good anyway. Okay, so I've got my polishing team assembled. The star of the show and the first step is this stuff, Tarnex. Uh, I had to visit the Gates of Mordor to pick up more of this. And this is really interesting stuff. So it says tarnish remover, but it doesn't really polish anything or make it shine. But it does eat that black tarnish right off of there. So it's really good stuff for that. Really stinky, nasty stuff. So do this in a well-ventilated area. We're in my shop, so I'm gonna open up the, well, also known as a garage. So I'm gonna open up the garage door and have lots of fresh air, and we will get this stuff on there and we'll eat all of that tarnish off of there. And then we'll use silver polish. This is a couple of different kinds, uh, Wyman and uh, some Wright's silver cream. And we'll use that to put a shine on the horn. And of course, I've got some clean rags. That doesn't look clean, it is, it's just, a rag. First thing we got to do, disassemble the horn. I like to start disassembly with the valves. It makes pulling the tuning slides easier afterwards. Make sure you leave them in the order that they came out. If you mix them up, you're going to have a real bad time getting that horn back together later. Now is a good time to clean the inside of the horn and everything while you're at it. While it's disassembled, may as well give it a bit of a bath. I know this horn is pretty grungy. It's, uh, it's over 100 years old. Of course it's grungy. And ta-da! Now the Tarnex. Good idea to wear some gloves. It's a good time to put on gloves now. It's also a good time to subscribe. You know it costs nothing to like a video or subscribe to a channel. Anyhow, just rub the Tarnex on, just wipe it on there, get it soaked down, and then the tarnish will just start wiping right off. As you can see, it just starts disappearing fast. Just gotta rub it gently. Make sure you get into all of the cracks and crevices around the valve casings as one of the tougher spots. Probably a good idea would be to wear more safety gear than I did. Probably some safety glasses and a long sleeve shirt would be a good idea because that Tarnix kind of starts stinging a little when it gets on your skin. It's kind of nasty stuff. Be careful of that. Okay, tarnish free horn, uh, mostly. Now we just got to rinse that Tarnix off of it, so we're going to go to the laundry room, use the sink, which is where we feed the cats. It, no, it's not dinner time, guys. Get out of here. Go on. Normally, I'd use my bathtub, but you're rinsing tarnish off of there. It's pretty gross. Fresh gloves again, because we're going to be pulling more tarnish off of here. This actually gets kind of gross. So we've got our silver polish. I'm going to use the paste and just start rubbing it on your horn. Sort of work the tarnish off. Make sure to get in the dents. And, uh, yeah, the sponge gets kind of black sometimes, so you have to go rinse it out once in a while. So keep rubbing it on there. Once again, get in the little crevices and the dents and everything there, and you'll be getting a shiny horn soon. Okay, I went into the bathroom and I rinsed all of the polish off of the tuba. Now there's three good reasons I didn't take the camera in there. One, I wouldn't have been able to get a good angle without like, the only thing you're gonna see is plumber's butt. You don't wanna see that. Two, if I did put an angle so that you can see me actually rinsing the stuff off of there, my phone would have been at risk of falling in the water. Not going to risk that. And three, the internet doesn't belong in my bathroom. That's just not good. So, as you can see, it's still wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it off with one of these cotton towels. And then I'm going to sort of, I'm very light. I'm going to just get the big stuff with the cotton towel. And then I'm going to go over it with a microfiber cloth and get it uh, cleaned up and hopefully polished up a little bit. So here we go. Okay, now final assembly. So I'm using some uh, Herco 
slide grease, cost all of $1.99 when I bought it. And I'm gonna be using Blue Juice. Not sponsored by either of those, but I do like this Blue Juice. It's, it's nice stuff. Okay, so let's get this bad boy put back together. Well, there it is. Put it back together. Plays. Sure looks a lot different than when we started, right? So uh, it's not terribly tough. I'm not terribly fussy about getting this perfectly, you know, bright and shiny. Things over 100 years old, it's not going to get bright and shiny. It's got worn out spots and I can see a couple of spots I missed, but I don't care, really. It just looks a lot nicer. So uh, there we go. I hope you got something out of that. I had a lot of fun doing this for you, with you. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this with you. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, share. Uh, hopefully you got something out of it. Leave me some comments. I'd really like to hear from you. Um, once again, I'm Alan Parks. This was the Alan Parks Project. And uh, we'll see you next time.